So what we're looking at is your posture. And you get a little bit of a gap. Just get the chin up, see the little space is created there. That just clears up space for your shoulder to go. So as you come back, the club should come back straight away. So you're lifting a little there. So if you can get to where your, your head's up, you won't have that up and down motion in your swing. So out of dress, you can get to where your, your head gets to. So just lift up your chin a little bit. See how the gap is here? Because your, once your shoulder turns, it lifts you away from the ball. And that gap that we have here, you can keep that flex on the right knee. See how his right knee is, is stayed where it is? Mm -hmm. You're in a great position at the top. I like where your hands are. And just, if you can get your chin up and maintain that flex. If you have hardly any flex and it just straightens out a little bit. See how it's coming back? Mm -hmm. That right leg. And it's, just, it's hard for you to use your lower body that way. So back so to the flex ball. in my right leg. Yeah. You just keep your, if your knees are working together. See how quiet the knees are here? Yeah. It's just extra movement. You have to, it's an extra timing mechanism that you're going to have. So back to the ball, you're driving onto your left side at impact. See how flat your foot is here? He's got about 90% on his left side already mm. before impact. So you're leaving a lot of energy on that right foot. And that's because I didn't have enough flex in it? Yeah. The, and the change of direction, once you're, you're up here, Brad, what you want to do is, the change of direction happens from the ground up, so your knees, your ankles, knees first, yeah. and your hips are, are making the club come down, and then it'll come down behind you. It'll feel like the, your hands are dropping straight down, and then into the ball. You do finish nice. You get on the, eventually get everything on the left side. This has to happen a little bit sooner.